smiling faces, sometimes pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces show no traces of the evil that lurks within. Smiling faces, smiling faces, sometimes they don't tell the truth. Smiling faces, smiling faces, tell lies. And I got the proof. Beware, beware of the handshake that others make. Beware of the pat on the back. It just might hold you back. Jealousy, misery, envy. I tell you, you can't see behind smiling faces. Smiling faces, sometimes they don't tell the truth. All right, now, I've done enough of that. But the words are true. The words are so true. And we find it in our on our jobs. We find it coming from children, from our spouses, our very families, our parents, our brothers, our sisters. I mean, we have no idea the agenda that is behind some people that's aimed right at you. Some people resent your walk with the Lord. They resent your growth. They resent seeing you grow and develop and mature and prosper in everything you put your hand to do. They don't like it. And they will do whatever it takes by any means necessary to sabotage. They will try to belittle you and make you feel like you're not even worthy. They will make you feel like it's never going to work. They will make you feel like you never get anything right. You know how you mess everything up. They'll make you feel like their problem is your fault. They will tell everybody else lies on you so that everybody else will start getting on your case and treating you funny. I'm telling you, life is weird. But when it comes to enemies, enemies come in all forms. They come in bright, pretty flowers, bright, I mean, bright, pull it, blah, blah, blah. They come in bright, pretty colors. That was a real screw up there. They come in nice, pretty costumes. They come all camouflaged, just like Satan coming to you as an angel of light. Some of you, your worst enemy is the person you're going to bed with. Be it your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or a total stranger. Some of you don't even have enough sense to know, to recognize, to discern. And see, when you're doing it in sin, you're putting yourself at Satan's, at Satan's whims because you've come out of the ark of safety from God when you go against his ways. And you're in the bed with someone that you're not married to. But, when you are in relationship, whether it's marriage, whether it's family, however that goes, or co-workers, even people at your church. Some people at church can be your worst enemies. They will make you feel like the freak of the century. Like what could God ever do with something as weird and off and as messed up as you? I'm telling you. God will handle them. You do not have to handle them. God will handle them. You do not have to defend your ways. You don't have to defend who you are or what you plan. You have to uh, obey what God tells you to do. You have to be who God tells you to be. Be true to yourself and live your life. Be true to yourself. Do your work at your job. Go to your class at school. Take your courses. Pursue that career. Pursue that degree. Do whatever it takes. Open up your, your business, your home-based business. Your Be an entrepreneur. Whatever you want to do. Whatever God has given you 
the green light to, go for it. If God says yes, no turkey in hell should be able to convince you it's a no. Because people will sabotage anything you aim for, even if it's dead set in the center of God's will, even if it's a real good thing, if it doesn't fulfill their purposes and you're not there for them, then what are they going to encourage you to go for? Why are they going to encourage you to go to college? Why would they do that? Why would they encourage you to go get that job you always wanted? No, they'll talk it down. See, enemies are very sly. They're sly, slick, and wicked. And they will pat you on the back with a smile. But by the same token, they'll manipulate you and say things like, now, you know, you know, you just got that GED. You know, you just got that high school diploma. Why don't you wait a few years and think about it? Because, you know, if you try to go and get that, uh, that, that degree, you may not really have it all together up here. You know, you just... You, you know, they might not even let you in the college. You know how dumb you can be. Really? With a pat on the back and a smile. Hmm. With friends like that, baby, you don't need enemies.